the boat life. We bought our very first sailboat just over a year ago. Now we're full-time living boards, making our way to the Caribbean. We have learned a lot, but have so much more to learn. Because basically we started with no sailing skills and very little boating experience. Did I mention this is our first boat? Subscribe now so you don't miss out on our adventures. I, I guarantee you'll be entertained. I can tell you that much for sure. Leave a comment below. Tell us what you think about our videos. That's the boat life. Thanks for watching. all flushed out I think we're good on the uh, the cooling system but then when I cranked it back up the tachometer is not working but I don't think we're gonna replace that right now we're just gonna press on no tachometer that's the boat life what's gonna break next nobody knows that's how boats are <laughs> Finally sailing. So technically day two uh, on the water. First day, obviously, we had that overheating issue, ended up in Venice for four days. But now we're uh, on the Gulf and we're headed to Ko Costa. K.O. Costa? 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 Uh. I'm excited to check out this park. We just have a uh, good 10 hours of sailing left. Okay, so we're back at Venice. Uh, let me tell you this. <coughs> it's entirely possible. So, okay. Well, we came back to Venice because we, didn't we were just day. like puttering along. Still got lots of steam coming from the motor, so we're definitely still overheating despite flushing it with the uh, barnacle buster. Sailing, we were just sailing straight in the wind, so we were trying to make it to Kea Costa, but it just wasn't gonna happen. So we got back in here before sunset. Here we are. However, in an interesting twist of events, well, because it seemed like we were going so slow. We were going so slow. We were going between two and three knots, and we were tacking, obviously, a lot, and we were weaving in and out of crab pots, and it was pissing me off, and we kept getting so close to them. And then at one point we were trying to go around one and then we think we ran it over, but there was a lot going on. And so we weren't really sure and then we kind of forgot about it. And then the rest of the day was just super slow going there and back once we decided to turn around. And uh, yeah, so we might have gone is it? You see it? 22 nautical miles. With that, that <laughs> crab pot. Somewhere. It's possible we brought it all the way back. I don't. Here. I well, don't, well, I this don't is know. What happened. We're just. We're. I'm just. Uh... So we were docking, and we're maneuvering, and the current's moving. So Nick's backing up, and I'm like, "Look out for that crab pot! It's really close to the boat." And then he's like, "What crab pot? I didn't see a crab pot." So I pointed it out, and then we docked, and then. Oh, that crab pot that we brought with us. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hopefully not. So I, I, I don't know. It seems hard to believe that it's possible that we could drag it that long and it not get all tangled up in our prop and whatever. So 
but I don't know. Uh, that's the boat life. We're doing the best we can. Yeah. We're learning as we go, and uh, that's part of it. Oh yeah. Then I threw Maybe. up all over the boat. Oh. Well, all, all outside the boat. It's also possible we didn't bring that crab trap. Okay. Maybe. It was a rough day. Uh, yeah, Melissa I, wasn't feeling well. We weren't making good time. We were going straight into the wind. We were not motoring well. It wouldn't even rev up. Well, no, it would rev up, but we just weren't even making. It was like three and a half knots. Max. Full bore. Steam coming out like. Lost our tachometer. That's fried. Uh, so I was just, you know, doing my best to listen. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're gonna revisit uh, what happens here. <laughs> Keep watching. Yeah, definitely subscribe because uh, things are going to happen and you're going to want to know about them. <laughs> also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, if you ever picked up a crab trap. Yeah, how do you feel about crab traps? Tell me about it. Oh, there's a lot of them out there. That's about life. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>